where it is all being brought down to and again. Whoa. Right again, you've got DRS and ZUC you, Sports. You've got to be kidding me right now. Wow. You before the last game tied for the title just as we started off the yeah. day after the first game we are there before the last game this is just an elating play right. coming in from the nepali region we could not have asked for a better situation before the last match uh, well, i've had enough of this i want to see the second half i want to see the second half, second half of the standings so right many storylines again so you could very well bring the conversation towards karanji sports as well who is sitting on the 8th spot right now and they All need right. to have a really good game but All right, look at the second yeah. half of the standings. Yep. 1952 still stick into that ninth with 164 points, but Stalwart Flex only a point away from them and not only Stalwart Flex even CE yeah. Sports. Abley needs to just uh well, give up on his teammates right now who can still come out of it, but I do believe uh, if they do want to win the entirety of this finals, Abley's going to have to ditch his teammates play. Oh man, Skylight Gaming. They are Oh, oh, oh. Jari getting shot. They're pushing in for the hunt here. They're taking the fight to Zeus. They've done waiting XP. Not a good idea. I don't know if it's, it might pan out in their favor. Joker's taking quite a bit of damage. Chari's outside. Maid's being tossed in. Joker barely alive, barely left standing. There is a lot of ammo as well above. Chari pushes in trying to catch a player off guard. Zeus will finish him off and that could be actually it's going to be able from the distance and now suddenly Oh how the tables have turned Skylight Gaming it's still a 3v3 Oh you don't want to burn your teammates What are you doing What are you doing Zol Okay he's got to patch himself up it's not too bad they're blocking that that stairway entrance for the side of Skylight Gaming but how do they escape they can vault their way out but they are wary of the third member of Skylight Gaming that is Demon who is a distance away but he has his crosses trained in this building on this building rather They are going to be blocking their path right now, making sure that it's a direct stairway to heaven for Skylight Gaming. As Joker is going to get taken down, as now Demon is going to come in as well. His position is going to be given up. Abley might have an idea where he is, but now Heaven X is going to be in a one-on-one -on -one situation. As far as Joker is concerned, he switches his weapon, but he goes down. A patch needs to come up right now because Demon could be coming in for the kill. Gaulus is there. Gaulus is there. He's keeping him at bay. Heaven X will be finished off, and Demon. Well, my, 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 oh my! How in the name of anything that makes sense Ozius alive all three members in that 4v3 Chari in that situation should have been a bit more patient like you said the patient kind of ran the patient's kind of ran out and that is uh, I mean Zeus is force man they were pretty much pinned give them down. an inch give, give them, them an, an inch, inch. and uh, well they'll they'll wriggle their way through elsewhere looks like Stalwart Flex are going to be taking a fight with 7 Cs as Memo is brought down to his knees and then finished Demon has no first aid kits he's got no bandages hurt. right so he's done. It, he's done for he's done he might get a knock now he's, he's given his position away They're not gonna even stick around. There you go. That's it. <laughs> like you say, come here, that the king. You better not miss. Skylight Gaming did try to create a major oh, upset there, but what they did instead was give Zeus Esports a squad wipe. Now what's happening over here is yes, they've gifted them four However, kills, four kills. But look, look at, at the distance Oof. they have to traverse in the blue. They are so paranoid that a push might come on in now. Ably from the distance. Oh, they've seen them. They've seen them. Oh, they've they've seen, them. seen them. They've seen them. They've seen them. Oh, DRS. Oh, how bad can it go for them? If the moment they get a kill, the moment, the moment like, they right. get a kill, like, that's DRS. They'll baby. be like, you know what, guys? Forget about everyone else. Focus your attention to the waters to your east, because well, Galzen, oh my goodness, that is so close to coming to death. This is going to be tricky. This is going to be tricky. AJ goes down. No, he doesn't. They know. They, they know. know. They know. They know now. And Zeus is like, all right, baby, we're gonna get the first prize. Thank you very much. Look at the determination on Abley's face right now. They know that it's gonna be DRS. Oh my goodness! This is just. This they, is mad. They literally don't need to do anything, anything. apart from wiping out AJ DRS. They can just sit on the bridge. They can die in oh, the blue. Doesn't matter. AJ will fall as well. And DRS. Well, that swim was scary. And well, it's shown why one man left alive for the side of DRS. The Dead Eyes guys will be eliminated in the 12th place. 11 alive. Oh. Molotov tossed in. The rest not going to be coming on out. T2K will oh. join F4. A seal will be eliminated as well. They have five points to name. Will that be enough? We're going to be finding out later on. We're down to the final nine teams, ladies and gentlemen. DRS still alive. One man still right in the water. Under Zeus. 
right under Zeus in the overall leaderboard and in the position on the map right now. Now it is going to be a war of attrition like we like saying. The question is does Nima have enough first hits because it might just come to that as uh, Crypto is going on a little bit of a rampage. Stacking up those kills. Stall for Flex already. They are showcasing what they made of. Seven kills for them already. Stall with Flex. They are not going to go down without a fight. They want that top nine position and they're gunning for it. Three players still alive. Seven points to a name. But Zeus right now. The Kings off the bridge. Look at the next zone. It's out in the open and everyone needs to move into the zone. Now the two members of High Voltage in the water. They've seen Nima. And right now, they're making peace. And the ability to move in towards the circle. And look at that blade. 1952 are going to be the first ones in the zone. Right now, this battle, it's between two teams. It's 1952. Oh, they're having a good chat. Oh, they're just, you know, having Sup. a good chat. Yeah. What's up with you? Maybe a little bit of, uh, yeah, just taking a bit of a swim. Zyol might reach. Oh, oh, never mind. Abel's going to stick on around. Well, Zyol's going to be going for a swim. This is a very smart decision coming in from the side of Zeus Esports. I just want to point out one thing. The battle for the ninth spot, 1952, are duking it out with Stalwood Flex right now. It's the battle for one spot, and these two teams, they are not going to go down without a fight. Both of them, four players alive for 1952, three alive, I believe, for Stalwood Flex, but Stalwood Flex have seven points. It is so very close, XP. So close indeed. It is absolutely close, and right now, 1952 could be in a world of trouble because Abley has spotted them out uh, driving around in that little buggy, but now he's going to focus on what's happening happening ahead at the bridge. R3D. Oh, 1952. Not once you stay quiet. They know it's going to be the, the game of their lives right now. They need to make sure they get everything done, but Sharp does not know where the bullets are coming from. But luckily for him, he moves out in the nick of time. 7C now going up against Stalwart Flex. It is a 1v3. Fear left alone and he will fall. Stalwart Flex, they are just... They are just cratering everyone on a rampage, on a streak. They want the ninth spot as yo. Oh. oh. Almost. That's it. Wait. Is, is, is it over? It's over. Is Zuzi it over? Get Zuzi Zuzi six points. DRS is still alive. Oh. The R is still alive. Goodness. <laughs> now, if Nima has been paying attention to his kill feed, he just needs to survive another round. In fact, he might just get enough points to overtake them right now because they did have a six-point lead, mind you, as Edgar gets taken out by Crypto. And again, oh my goodness, have a look at that. Stall with Flex on a rampage. 11 kills for them already. The Grim Reapers of the battlefield. The final game, Last Chance Saloon, and they are stepping up to the plate. They are delivering in space. The res should be coming on in 11 kills, XP. My heart is pounding. I can barely breathe here. 1952, though, all four players still alive. This is a battle between 1952 and Stalwart Flex. The problem for 1952 is they only have two points. Oh, oh, they oh, need oh, to get oh, these kills. Oh, oh. Aussie will be spotted out, will be taken care of. High Voltage still have three players alive. Stalwart Flex Blade laying down the pain towards R3D. High Voltage still have those players in the water. 1952 in a wonderful position to basically even play spoil sport for DRS because if Nima comes up for a little bit of air and if he gets spotted, oh my goodness, I don't think the position points are going to be enough for them to get it done. However, Magnet is going to be spotted in the distance by Extreme as Crypto unloads or rather unleashes a barrage of bullets towards the enemy's direction. Again, Stalwart Flex playing their hearts out. They're, they're giving it everything. Everything. Blood, sweat, tears out on display. Nima still swimming around, still keeping the hopes of his team alive. DRS, I don't believe it. They spat in the face of fate and they said, no, we are still going to be coming out on top. R3D Hot voltage taken down, oh. and the spray from Uzum will connect. They are just mowing down every single body in front of them. And R3D, the smoke keeping the pushing players from Stalwart Flex at bay. And another player getting knocked off of Stalwart Flex, but they continue to aggress. It might just become a ninth place versus a tenth place uh, lost. Uh, two teams standing as Stalwart Flex are now going to come under heavy fire. Crypto could be knocked out, and Virus is trying his best to make sure he keeps the enemy at Bay as uh, well. Joker goes down and Nima is going to move in. Nima could come from behind and in fact ruin 1950's game as well. He could use this opportunity like you pointed out to sneak in all the way from the right hand side and just sneak in from behind and take on 1952. This nade could be massive. Oh, this nade Joker. could be huge. It could be a double. No. Down. It slides on down. The second one could be huge though. They're getting shot at by multiple teams. R3D. For how long, much longer are they going to hold on? That is the question. Smokes have been deployed, but they are somehow still alive. Cooney's been spotted out. So are Nima, but not sharp. Not taking the shots. 
He was focused on R3D right now as Ozum from the other end is going to be rattling them down. And with that, R3D are going to be out. 13 kills for Stalled with Flex. This is looking bad for 1952 as Cooney and Nima are still good friends. It's a 3v2. Oh, never mind. Starward Flex. One player survives. 1952. If they get a chicken dinner, they can jump on top of Starward Flex. High voltage Cooney and DR is still alive as well. It's a 3v1v1. 1952. They can do no wrong. They want this chicken dinner and this could be what they need. Uh -oh. Nemus want it uh -oh. out. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. And now, who's going to fall first? Is it going to be Cooney? Cooney holding his breath. How? For how long is he going to hold his breath? He will be finally found out by Sharp. DRS still in contention. A top three placing. I think they've done it. I think they've done it. They've taken everyone out at DRS. Oh, They are going to steal it away goodness. from Zeus. I don't believe it. Oh, my goodness. Zeus, I do believe, had seven points on them. But now they're going to go out with 10. Ladies and gentlemen, well, first of all, congratulations to 1952 for getting the chicken dinner. 15 points right there. However, Stormwood Flex going out of third. That is going to be a tremendous thing to catch up on because, uh, well, they did have 11 to 13 kills. Play he needs to hold his head right now, as do I. But again, you talk about, well, we were discussing Pakistani teams oh, yeah. and what they were doing and what they could bring to the final game. So, Stalwart uh, Flex. All right, Stalwart Flex. Uh, this is, uh, I, I hope this is going to be my big brain moment. Yeah. Right. But Stalwart Flex, they were in the top eight before this match. And they got a lot of kills. They had a good finish in this game. Had this they been one extra game, it could have just you know, fumbled again. Talk about before the game started, yeah. right? We were talking about will Pakistani region be a part of these top nine teams? Will yeah. Bangladeshi region have any team in there? And we finally got that. Working in their favor, of course, 1952 right here in the top nine, as well as Star Lord Flex and all these top nine, as well as the include making it through. But. They are all top nine going to be moving on towards uh, the BMPL South Asia Championship and along with which of course we've got uh, the 15th position holder right now, Skylet Gaming, that has already been invited. So like or share, talk to me, 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 I'm not going to sit here for 4,000 years, I'm going to work for you, it won't go, it won't go, like or share, talk to me, 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 tal